Hello and welcome back to the Rock and Roll Sailor Journal. We're uh, back in Amsterdam. It's a uh, typical autumn weather. In Dutch they call this the Devil's Fair. So as you can see it's raining with a bright sunshine at the same time. And I'm uh, hiding for the rain in my uh, prototype uh, how to cover up a bicycle so you can cycle, which I love, and stay dry, which I love even more. Uh, that's this. Okay, so now we're on the ferry. Uh, as you can see, it's still raining. And you have a shot of the bike the way it's set up. So it's got like a front cover for the legs and then a, a fold up uh, hood. So you can ride it open in, uh, when the weather's nice, um, when it's raining, you're undercover. And it works actually pretty well. I mean, so this is basically a, a test setup to see uh, how well it works. And quite frankly, I'm, uh, I'm surprised at, uh, at the effect of it. And the idea is that uh, this is a precursor to a tricycle I want to build out of uh, recycled aluminum and uh, compressed hemp for uh, body works uh, and that would actually be like a, a one-man transporter preferably with a, a Negre engine in there that's a, an engine that runs on uh, compressed air so that maybe you could uh, set up a system to connect the pedals to a pneumatic uh, compressor and that way you'd have a, a mechanical uh, self-driving uh, vehicle covered, dry and comfortable and that would be excellent to, uh, to start touring around with. Because you see as a writer on ecology I uh, like to do a tour and, and you know go do my readings in different cities but then what do you transport yourself with? If you're gonna start doing that by car then you're basically you know you're not living your statement. So I was thinking doing it on a bicycle but um, you know, just a regular bike, why not try something new, you know, I mean, to me this is like eco-social uh, evolution, where uh, it's time to just sort of reinvent society and the products we use play uh, a major part in that. So I'm all for, uh, you know, reinventing everything, just re-examining things and see if we can uh, come up with better ways so you can combine uh, more functionalities with uh, a sexy artistic design on a, uh, you know, a pretty much zero carbon footprint. Why not? Hello again, so now we're at the Fort van Schaco, it's uh, Amsterdam's uh, alternative bookstore. And we have, hi, what's your name? Jeroen. We have Jeroen here. And Jeroen, what is, uh, what's the history behind the uh, Fort van Schaco? Uh, Fort van Schaco is an alternative uh, bookshop run by volunteers ever since uh, November 77. Uh, originally this was a squatted place, uh, we have legalized in uh, 88 and uh, we are still being run by volunteers only, there is no uh, paid jobs over here, all profits go into buying new stuff for the shop and supporting uh, actions or printing costs for uh, posters or whatever for things that we f uh, find supportable. Yeah, uh. And, uh, and we are like uh, horizontally orga organized and we decide all our stuff in meetings. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's in a nutshell what we do. Yeah, excellent. We, that was, uh... And we try to, to give them another view of how society could be. And, uh, uh, a society uh, without uh, differences in on a social, economical, or political level. Uh, yeah, yeah, so uh, an organic, horizontal structure rather than a, an enforced hierarchy. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cool, excellent. And I saw outside you have a banner for uh, ADM. 
That's correct. Could you explain a bit more about that? That's a squat in the in the port area of Amsterdam, and it's yeah. being it has been squatted 20 years ago, and it's 20 been, years already. It's uh, being threatened by eviction uh, because the owner wants to uh, develop the area. Uh, and and right now, for 20 years, they've basically let it go green completely. They've turned it into yeah, a nature... Yeah, they have uh, thing over there, and there's a lot of people who have their workshops over there, and mm -hmm. organize all kinds of uh, low-budget uh, festivals, and uh, also a lot of people live there, about 200 people. Right, so it's basically, it's a thriving uh, art community. Yeah. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Well, I brought you some stuff to to take a look at. Maybe you uh, you like them in the shop. We have uh, postcards. These are. Uh, I'll give you the bag. These are basically uh, postcard size uh, stickers with uh, artwork by uh, Super Cat. That's my woman. And quote. These are basically uh, pretty psychedelic uh, stream of conscious. Uh, writing, uh, taking a different view on uh, on history and evolution from uh, the standpoint of, of uh, the fact that basically you know we evolved better in, uh, in a peaceful coexistence and through being creative than through all this this imperialist nonsense that people get uh, told is what is how we evolve you know. So it's hey, cool. So here we are uh, outside Fort Ashako with the uh, ADM banner. Uh, I mentioned them uh, somewhere halfway the uh, story of both readings with the uh, Art Does Matter uh, poster. And uh, well, they weren't actually into our stuff, but this is more of a the hard action. Uh, political orientated uh, bookstore. Uh, the next one we're going to be going to is a place called Azarius, which is a smart shop, so they'll probably more have a link to the psychedelic view on life. And in the meantime, you can see uh, it stopped raining. Yee -hee. The sun is out, we got a patch of blue sky, which is sort of like, you know, living in a climate like this does make you intent on savoring the moment, you know what I mean? If you're only going to notice when it's raining, then, well, you're missing the fun of laughing when the sun is shining as well, you know. So here we have this, uh, the tricycle. Now, as I said, it's a mock-up version, just sort of like a proof of concept. That's how it falls down, and with a strap up there. Now, you can imagine if you have a full body work with an exoskeleton rather than a frame in the middle, you can just make this totally full up with a front shield and a hook here, for instance. And you can make this out of uh, out of plates with recycled um, plastic windows in it. Uh, as I said, I would prefer uh, a hemp uh, plastic bodywork because hemp is just such a versatile plant. You just you know you can spend 20 years reading about everything you can do with it. It's amazing. So this is you know this one's just got a little transport box in the back for all my gear. And as I say, it's quite comfortable. So, taking this as a jumping point can only mean that the next one's going to be even better. And the funny thing about Amsterdam is like, you know, the whole hole on this flat, the only mountains you got is in the center of Amsterdam. And it's all these little steep bridges that just oh, bite your calves in half, you know. Will you look at that. I guess one of the things that makes Amsterdam so freaking nice is the fact that I'm yet to come across any street that doesn't have a whole bunch of trees in it. You know, there's green everywhere. Of course now it's winter, so... Well, what am... Just look at that. Yeah. That just so looks like... like uh, like the neural network in your brain, doesn't it? Or like, uh, like all those small veins in a muscle. Ah, beautiful. But the fun, of course, 
of these high bridges is that on the go down you get that really you you know I mean people are always talking about depressions and how did it happen and how could you go down like that well anybody that ever done a roller coaster can testify going down is fun <laughs> unless we crash into that van over there okay made it And this is the street where we need to be, off the dam and to the right, Kirkstraat. And we got a uh, 461 and we gotta go to 116. Roll in! Right, so I was cycling uh, by here and we're nearly at the Azaria shop, but then I, I passed this guy and I'm just curious, as I always am, what is this, you know? So what you have here is like a tricycle setup with a, a fairly good box, I guess I'm safe to say that's about two cubic meters of uh, uh, space in there. It's called Food Logic, it says no emissions, no congestion, no pollution. So basically, hi there. How you doing? Uh, yeah, give me a break. Yeah, give sure, man. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so basically, you transport uh, yes. food supplies to different shops yes. and restaurants yes. and stuff. In the center. The, yes. the only difference is, instead of going through with uh, vans and, uh, yeah. and blocking traffic yes. all over yes. the place, yes. you guys uh, resolved it this way. That's yes. excellent. Exactly. Yeah. How long have you guys been doing this? I have been working as in eight months. Eight months, and, and the company's been around for like three years. Like three yeah. years already. Yes. Cool. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much. No, it just it shows that you know if everybody does a little bit, yeah, it makes course. a huge change. You know what I mean? So. Mm. I mean, also, people are calculating every day. For example, when the, you deliver the products with these bikes, and then how much uh, like how amount of uh, pollution you just save I mean to the yeah, of course so like of course and when you calculate this amount in a year it makes a lot of yeah it makes it makes a huge yeah. difference yeah, yeah. yeah. plus exactly. it, it makes a lot of difference I, on yeah. on the amount of material yeah. you use you're not you know you're not polluting but also yeah, yeah. It, it takes a yeah, lot yeah. less on yeah, on yeah. On expenses, you know what I mean. This this costs a lot less than uh, yeah, yeah, than having right. delivery vans yeah. for everybody. Plus, yeah. you guys stay healthy yeah. instead of yeah. just exactly. sitting around all day. Yeah. You know, and also I mean, cycling this all day, you don't need a fitness yeah. in the evening, do you? And it's also safe for the people who lives in the in the city. Uh -huh. And I guess in the in the soon in future, like it's gonna be one of the uh, I would say like the things that must happen for the cities to keep them more green and the things, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. people complain about cigarettes, but we're choking yeah, on exhaust fumes all exactly. the time, you know, yeah. it's like, mm. okay, cool, man, okay. I'm gonna be on my way.